Little angel reader, little little angel reader, read along with angel reader, have some fun with angel reader. Little angel reader. Max plants a flower, or the power of words, by Anna Mitkevich, read aloud for you by the author. This is Max. He is six years old. He loves to learn new things. Last week, their old neighbor, Auntie Taya, brought four young plants for Max and his mom. You can plant these leaves in four separate flower pots, she said. Auntie Taya is almost 90 years old. She loves Max and thinks he's the cutest boy and the best neighbor ever. And Titaya decided to share her plant's babies with Max and his mom because they all love flowers and different plants. Max was excited. He loves to play with soil and dig in it. Mom bought some fresh potting soil for the new plants. First, they prepared some white flower pots and the foundation. Then, Max brought his pink shovel. It was perfect for digging. They filled half of the flower pot with fresh soil. Which of these leaves do you want to plant first, Max? asked Mom. Max thought a little and then pointed at the plant with the biggest leaves. Okay, good choice, said Mom. Let's carefully dig it out and plant it in our big white pot. Look at its long roots, said Mom, lifting the plant. Wow, they look like a spider, exclaimed Max, touching the roots. Plants need roots to get water and minerals from the soil. Roots also help the plant to stay firmly in the ground and store food for the plant, explained Mom. And this part of the plant is called a stem, she added. The stem supports the plant and carries water from the roots to the rest of the plant. Max helped Mom to put more soil in the pot to cover the roots. It was fun! Do you know what leaves are for? asked Mom. To make them look pretty? smiled Max. Leaves make food for the plant, said Mom. They also take in carbon dioxide, which people and animals breathe out and release oxygen into the air. Plants are called the lungs of the earth because of that. We breathe in oxygen. We need it to be alive. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out or produce oxygen, explained Mom. Carbon dioxide? Oxygen? Max repeated the strange words. Max, you're planting your first flower, said Mom. Do you know that plants, like people, love to hear nice words? They do? asked Max. Grow big and tall, dear flower. We love you. Grow, plant, grow. We love you. Yes, we love you. Grow, plant, grow. You know what? Your friend Vasilisa and her mom made an experiment with rice and water last month. They poured some water into two glasses and added some rice. Then for ten days, they had been saying different words to the rice several times a day. They said only nice words like love and I love you to one glass of rice and water. I love you, I love you, I love you. And to the other glass, they said only bad words like stupid and fool angrily, said Mom. 
And what happened? asked Max, listening attentively. Words are very powerful, Max. All living creatures react to the words they hear. We have to be careful and choose only good, kind, encouraging words. Words have power. Do you want to know what our friends found out at the end of their unusual experiment? asked Mom. Yes, yes, I do. Please tell me, said Max, curious to know the result of the rice and water experiment. So, what happened? What? The rice that heard encouraging and loving words like, I love you, stayed clean and fresh. And the rice that often heard ugly, rude words like stupid and fool became stinky and moldy, replied Mom. Now you understand how important it is to use nice, pleasant, uplifting words in our speech every day because words are powerful. Words can make you smile or cry. They can encourage you or make you unhappy. That's why I always tell you that you are my smart, kind, handsome, and amazing boy, said Mom, hugging Max. I hope you will grow big and beautiful, dear flower. We love you, said Max, watering his new plant. We love you, dear flower. We love you. I want to see you big. Mm-hmm, big and tall. I love yeah. you, dear plant. Grow. So you were like daddy or mommy or Angie or me. Grow big like mommy and daddy and Angie and Max. You plant. We well, love you, plant. We love you, plant. Never forget that words are more powerful than people imagine, Max. Please use words that will be a blessing for others, starting with yourself, okay? said Mom. Okay, I will try, promised Max. By the way, do you remember that God created our world using words? He spoke the world into existence said Mom, amazed how planting a flower led them to such a deep talk about the power of words and the creation of the world. The Bible says in Genesis 1-3, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light, said Mom. And another Bible verse, John 1, 1, says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mom read from her Bible. So everything started with the Word. Wow! said Max, watering more plants. Yes, isn't it amazing? So we have to choose our words wisely and carefully added Mom. I love you, Mommy. You are the best. Max hugged his mom. I love you more, honey. You are a huge blessing. Thank you for helping me plant these flowers. I hope they will grow big and beautiful, smiled Mom. A year later, Max's plants grew bigger and had beautiful white flowers. Every time Max and Mom look at their beauty, they remember that words are powerful. They also remember and thank God for creating our beautiful world with the help of words. Max and his mom thank God for giving us plants so we can live and breathe. The End And now let's see how well you remember the story. Multiple choice questions. Choose one answer for each question. 1. Who gave Max and his mom young flowers to plant? A. 
Max's grandma. B. Their neighbor. C. Max's teacher. Their neighbor. Two. What color are the flower pots? A. White. B. Red. C. Blue. The flower pots are white. Three. What did Max use for digging the potting soil? A. A spoon. B. His toy car. C. His shovel. His shovel. Four. Max's mom told Max about one experiment with A. Rice. B. Peas. C. Stones. The answer is rice. Five words are A. Not important. B. Powerful. C. Expensive. Words are powerful. Six. In our speech, we should use A. Rude and funny words. B. Bad and hurtful words. C. Encouraging and kind words. In our speech, we should use encouraging and kind words. Good job! Well done! If you like my stories, you can thank me here. PayPal, little angel reader at gmail dot com. Little angel reader, little little angel reader, read along with angel reader. Have some fun with angel reader. Little angel reader.